time around we have a 2003 legacy 2.5 with an automatic transmission wiring harness that's going into a 68 bus so now i'm going to start untangling it all and getting the split loom off All of the unnecessary connectors have been clipped off, so let's start at the ECU. We come out, we have a big junction here. Let's just follow this one over. Both of these, I guess. They have, so we have the Tesmo connectors. Uh, I can clip this one off too. And we have the main ignition relay. And we have the fuel pump relay. And we have the OBD2 connector. And a, this is the blower relay, but I'm gonna repurpose it for the fan relay. Come back to that main junction here, and we have a grommet that goes into the engine bay, and we have the O2 sensor plugs. We have the engine plugs. And this guy goes more than likely to the uh, atmospheric pressure sensor things on the, uh, in the engine bay. Using the ECM pinout chart, I was able to identify the loose wires that terminated at the computer. These are all automatic transmission related, so those are going to get pulled out. So next up, I'm just going to start kind of forming the harness and getting some connections made.
All of the connections are made and we're doing a little bench test here. So to provide power, we have a little battery pack from a cordless ratchet, it's 12 volts. The ground goes to the grounds for the engine harness. Off of that ground, we have a little test lamp going that's connected to the fuel pump wire through this yellow jump wire. See fuel pump wire is that red black. Right here, we have the VSS. So we can trigger that on. Just it's a proximity sensor, so it checks to see if it's close to metal, if metal is passing near it. Okay, we'll go look at the positive side here. We have this big red and yellow that's actually feeding the battery wire in the harness. We have this little red jumper wire that's feeding the ignition switch that turns the computer on. We have the OBD2 Wi-Fi Elm 327 reader that's sending Wi-Fi signal to the OBD Fusion app in which I can check certain things. Clicking you here is the fuel pump relay clicking on and off as well as the fan relay. We have the test mode connectors plugged in so that's why they're clicking on and off. So everything is panning out on this harness. So now I'm going to wrap it in the split loom. The harness is complete. We have the tank sensors. We have the OBD2 port, test mode, main ignition relay, fuel pump relay, wires that connect into the bus, some optional, big grommet, VSS, the starter solenoid, fan, and fuel pump, and all of the engine connectors. So that's it, let's take a look at the alternator. Here's the alternator harness, pretty simple. We have the connector that goes to the alternator that tells it whether or not to turn on and off. We have the lug that charges the battery. We have the AC compressor. These large white wires along with the blue-red go to the battery lug on the start. And we have the alt lamp, alternator lamp that needs to go up to the dash, and we have the AC compressor wire.